Hello parents, I'm Mr. Howard Yu. I was a former PSLE science marker for Section B and also the former HUD science for the Shanghai Singapore International School. Today, I'd like to teach you and share with you how the uh, Singapore PSLE science paper is being marked and what are the important points students need to take note in answering some questions. So today, I'll begin with the 2019 PSLE science section B. Sit back and relax. As you can see, this is my portfolio. I was also the author for Mastering P5 PSLE Science OEQ, Open-Ended Questions and Former PSLE Markers. Previously, I was the Science Coordinator for Peihua Presbyterian Primary School from 1998 to 2004. And I've done online coaching since uh, 2017. So let's continue. Uh, with these questions, which I promise. This question appears in the 2019 PSLE Science Section B. So in this question, it says, the diagram below shows insect P and flower Q. So this is insect P and flower Q. And let me do the annotate here. This is insect P and this is flower Q. It says that insect P feeds on bees and butterfly. So I teach students to highlight this, bees and butterfly. And this insect P is often found sitting on flower Q. So part A, the student is required to answer, explain how looking like parts of flower Q is an advantage to insect P. So it actually means this insect P actually looks partly like the flower Q. So how does this insect here, by looking like part of flower Q, is an advantage to insect P? So for some students who are perhaps not uh, so advanced in English, they got to break down the questions into smaller parts. So we can see here, firstly, they need to explain how this animal looks like part of flower Q is an advantage to this insect, and this is one mark. So according to the definition of explain, so the students need to give reason. So let's see how can these questions be answered accurately. And let's look at the model answer some student will give. And you can see here, this is actually the model answer supplied by the publisher. The bees and butterflies are unlikely to notice insect P when they approach flower Q and hence become prey to insect P. Okay, sometimes this type of model answer can be quite complicated for students who have difficulty in, in their English or sentence structure. So what it means that by looking alike like this flower Q, the bees or the butterflies, when they come near to the flower for pollination, they will not notice this insect pea, which is actually a praying mantis so easily. So the praying mantis can actually catch the bees and butterflies and eat them. So there's another alternative way of writing the answer. You can say that insect pea, which is the praying mantis, can camouflage well with flower Q or blend well with flower Q. Camouflage well, or you can say blend well with flower Q. Therefore, bees and butterflies can be more easily caught by insect P and be eaten. So the examiner must be able to see that the student understand that how this insect can turn its structural adaptation, which is being able to camouflage well with flower Q, be an advantage because it is a, an advantage to insect P by catching the prey easily. So these are possible answer. If the student give this answer, insect P can camouflage well with flower Q, no marks will be awarded because the student failed to explain. So explanation is very important as I mentioned here, because nowadays, the student need to explain. 
Explain means give valid reason. So in this question, the student must say that insect P can camouflage well or blend well with flower Q. Therefore, bees and butterflies can be more easily caught by insect P and be eaten. Let's proceed with the next question in part B. It's the same question. So in part B, again, we can see here, students are required to explain how insect P, this insect, sitting on flower Q is a disadvantage. So in that, we have changed uh, from just now was advantage, right? To the insect P, now become disadvantage to flower Q. So in other words, the student need to explain how this insect, which is the praying mantis, by sitting on flower queue, becomes a disadvantage to flower queue. So let's see the possible answers to this. So if the student answer by saying, insect P will eat the bees and butterflies. Okay, this is what will happen. This is what we meant by describe what will happen in this situation the students will not be awarded any marks namely because the student did not explain why it is a disadvantage to flower queue so the student need to produce this answer by saying that insect p which is a praying mantis eats the pollinators of flower queue Okay, this pollinators in, in context refers to the bees and butterflies. So insect P eats the pollinators of flower Q and hence makes flower Q less likely to be pollinated and develop into a fruit. So in this situation, we can see very clearly that this is a disadvantage. Because if flower Q cannot be pollinated, it will not reproduce or it also will not produce any fruit. Because in primary 5, the students are taught that in order for a fruit to, de to be developed, the flowers need to be pollinated and then subsequently fertilized. So the student need to produce such answer by saying that insect P will eat the pollinators or Insect P will eat the bees and butterflies, therefore making flower Q less likely to be pollinated and fertilized to become a fruit. So this is what we call answering the questions in context. The student need to explain. So let's proceed. And this is what I have done. The analysis of past year's paper from 2017 to 2018. So you can take a quick look at this. And then subsequently, we can see here the topic that I've just described is under this topic called adaptations. In 2019, it has a weightage of 11.4% of the whole paper. And similarly for 2018, also 11.4 percent and 2017 okay last year this topic was not tested due to COVID-19 because some of the topics were being removed as you can see here this column or this section for the 2020 paper this were not being tested in 2020 due to COVID-19 living together food chain food web adaptations men's on its environment so this year is 2021 and I wish you well in the early preparation to answer challenging open-ended questions in your coming SA1 prelim and the final PSLE 2021. And this current batch will be the first batch of student being assessed by the ALs, we call the academic levels or academic competency. As you know, the ALs actually is actually more difficult to get into better school. 
let's continue with my presentation. And I welcome all students to consider enrolling to my center for our specialized PSLE science coaching. So I wish you all the best. We are located at Beauty World Center 0316. It's just next to the Beauty World MRT station. And thank you for listening to me. I hope that this questions in the 2019 PSLE science paper question 29 will bring you benefits and help your child to prepare better for the coming SA1 prelim as well as this year 2021 PSLE science. And I look forward to your listening, subscription, like and share in my next question 30 in the days to come. Thank you. This is Mr. Howard Yu from One Academy sending my greetings to all of you. Take care. God bless.